pandemic continues to claim lives around the world. Research has focused on the immune system's role in patients who become seriously ill. A popular theory has it that the immune system, after fighting the virus for several days, produces a so-called cytokine storm that can result in potentially fatal organ damage. But new findings from a team of researchers led by scientists at the Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis point to another theory and suggest that patients become ill because their immune systems can't do enough to protect them from the virus. They suggest that boosting immunity could be a potential treatment strategy for COVID-19. In today's episode, we continue our focus on the immune system by taking a look at a couple of perspectives that support the argument to build the immune system as part of the solution to the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm Garth Case, and this is The Real Green Show. And welcome to episode 26 of The Real Green Show. A couple of quick housekeeping items before we get started. We're once again giving away an Amazon gift card. At some point in the show, you'll see a QR code flash briefly on the screen, pause the video, grab the code, and go buy yourself something on Amazon. The first person to get the code and spend it wins. Also, please remember to like, follow, and share the show, as this will help us to organically grow. Last but not least, not everyone cares about the quality of the CBD products they use, but if you do, Jamrock is for you. Feel the Jamrock difference. Go to jamrockorganics.shop and use the code RGS15 for 15% off your order. So, as you heard in the intro, we're continuing our series on the immune system and the need for us all to focus on building it, especially in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. A study from the Washington University of Medicine suggests that boosting your immune system could be a potential treatment strategy for COVID-19. This is a theory that has support from many of us in the alternative medicine industry. Today, we'll hear from Bill Maher, host of Real Time with Bill Maher on HBO, and also react to a couple of clips from well-known conspiracy theorist David Icke, who was recently interviewed by Brian Rose for London Live. Now, this idea of building the immune system to treat COVID is not a new one. In fact, there has already been several medical papers published on the Journal of the American Medical Association's website. But for some reason, these papers are not given much exposure. This leaves me with a simple question, why? Given the current statistics and the fact that the US has become the epicenter of the virus, shouldn't we be doing everything we can to stop the spread and reduce deaths? Let's take a listen to Bill Maher's perspective on the virus. And finally, new rule. The next time we have a worldwide pandemic, we have to come up with a better solution than everyone becomes Howie Mandel. You know Howie, I know Howie. Who doesn't love Howie? The world's most famous germaphobe who was social distancing before it was cool. Well, now, of course, everybody's making the joke that Howie Mandel had it right all along. No, Howie would be the first to tell you he has a disease, OCD, that fucks up your life. He can't touch a doorknob or wear shoes with laces because they might touch the ground. When he excuses himself to go to the bathroom, it's to clean it. No wonder, he says, it was always a curse. That behavior didn't allow me to date or go out with anybody when I was young or really even have friends. He also said, I'm always on the verge of death in my head. I worry that the past two months of quarantine have given people the idea that the way for humans to win our million year war with microbes is to avoid them completely. And I'm here to tell you, you can't. The key to beating COVID isn't dining through glass or never going to a concert or a ball game again. It's your immune system. You hear people say COVID-19 is a new virus, so the immune system doesn't know how to handle it. Bullshit, of course it does. That's why the vast majority of people have had it, either recovered or didn't even know they had it. What do you think did that? The human immune system. Now, there are people with immune systems that can't do the job and we should make it a priority to protect those people. Whether you like Bill or not, he makes a good point. We all come in contact with germs and viruses daily, 
And that's why we have an immune system to help us fight illness. Now, to be clear, I understand the need for precautions, particularly since the CDC says eight out of every 10 people who died from the virus were 65 and older. Eight out of every 10. Again, I ask, why are we not placing more emphasis on naturally building our immune system? For a perspective on the why, we turn to David Icke, who is a well-known conspiracy theorist. And during his interview with Brian Rose from London Live, he shared his perspective on the why. Let's take a listen. You know, so when something is being so pushed by a system that couldn't give a damn about the health of the population. Look at all the crap in food that is legally allowed, never should be, and all these other things. Um, look at the pharmaceutical cartel, Big Pharma. The third biggest cause of death in the United States is the frickin' treatment after heart disease and cancer. They care about the health of the population. How does Big Pharma get its money? By the population being sick. Well, obviously David has some strong views on the pharmaceutical industry and the motives behind focusing on a treatment and vaccine. In short, he thinks it's all about profits. I would like to disagree with David, but he does make sense on some levels. We've seen an epidemic of a different sort. Opioids come out of the pharmaceutical industry and for many years they allowed, no, enabled opioid abuse, all for their own greed and profit. I guess what I'm saying is anything is possible when money becomes the primary motivator. So David continued to explain his position on Big Pharma. And I'll tell you what, Brian, I will take this system seriously. I will, I will think, oh, well, maybe they do care a little bit. When they come out, mainstream everything, mainstream medicine, and say, here is how you boost and strengthen your immune system. Vitamin A, vitamin D3, vitamin C, something to uh, uh, boost the thyroid uh, function, which produces vitamin A. Uh, let's, let, let, let's do that, hey, let's get the immune system. Uh, going. What are they saying instead? Oh, it's weakened immune systems that why pe where people are dying. Okay, so what are you telling them about how to boost their immune system? Well, they're not. Because first of all, even on a purely financial level, in terms of big pharma, what would a strong immune system in the population in general do? Their profits would absolutely freaking plummet. Because it's weakened immune systems that are um, their, their profit margin. Now, if we were investigating a crime, the first thing in determining the why is to determine the motive. It seems David thinks that Big Pharma is just not motivated to ensure that we have a healthy society. And I really hope that's not true. But it is all the more reason for us to make it our primary focus to find ways to naturally build our immune system. David goes on to explain how he believes the immune system interacts with the virus. Let's take a listen. And, and you know, some doctors who actually have sussed it are pointing out, you know, that it's not, um, it's not the virus that's killing people. It's their immune system that's killing them. Because it works like this. If you've got a strong immune system, the different levels of the immune system, it's very complex and, you know, even mainstream medicine doesn't understand it yet. It, honest people within it will actually agree with that. So it's making decisions on vaccines and all this stuff. It doesn't even understand the immune system and how it works. Anyway, th there are different levels of it. So you get a virus, the first level will meet it, then the second level will meet it, which, which is much more specific to that virus. This is the level that um, creates the, um, the reaction that's absolutely encoded to meet that particular threat. And at that point, gone. This is why 80% of people have mild um, symptoms, because this, this is what's happening. You get a mild fever, yes, because the, the immune system's using heat to kill the virus. 
Uh, it's like throwing up. The, that's the immune system getting rid of something before it does real damage to the body. But when your immune system is compromised through lack of nutrients, shit food, and all the rest of it, these, these um, levels of the immune system can't cope, especially if you are uh, um, someone who has other health problems because the immune system's already kind of working flat out on that. So what happens then when they fail is the immune system in effect panics and it unleashes something called a cytokine storm. And um, this is, these are subs, uh, 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 as a substance that is released by the cells and it is the equivalent of a machine gun firing in all directions because it's desperate. And I'll, I'll give you an analogy of what I mean. An intruder breaks into a house. The homeowner is fighting to deal with the intruder. The intruder's winning, the homeowner's losing and it's, it, it's getting desperate, that he's getting desperate. So he grabs a gun and he's so panicked, he's shooting in every direction and shoots at himself. So what this um, cytokine uh, storm does is unleash this tidal wave of reaction. And it is so, um, it is so powerful and so unfocused that it attacks its own body and kills its, the body. And you know something, with a coronavirus, when there's a um, cytokine storm, you know what it attacks? The lungs. And it causes inflammation and gunge in the lungs as a result of that attack. And what are people dying of coronavirus, the elderly and with other health problems, they're dying of respiratory um, problems. And pneumonia. Yeah, sort of. and pneumonia. But that's another thing. If you read the consequences of a cytokine storm on a coronavirus, it leads to um, attacks on the lungs, which leads to pneumonia. So as these doctors who are you know, prepared to tell the truth are pointing out, it's weakened immune systems that, that are causing people to die. So why isn't the system blasting out in all directions everything you need to do to boost your immune system? Because they care about all people, you see. A closing thought before we end the show. We are living in unique times. I can't remember a time when America or humanity was faced with so much uncertainty. This leaves us all feeling powerless, searching for hope and guidance. James Allen, a 1930s philosopher, once said, people are always anxious to improve their circumstances, but are unwilling to improve themselves. That is why they remain bound to their circumstance. On the next show, We'll share ways that you can naturally build your immune system. Remember to like, share, and follow our show. Thanks, and see you next time.